All right, what's going on? Um, so today we have White Album um, from White Album 2. I know it's kind of like, yeah, I guess the name White Album is from the first show, the first anime, which is, um, what was it, which is a season that's sort of a prequel, but the characters are sort of different, uh, are very different actually. They're just mentioned in the second one. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess they use songs from there too, but yeah, this is called White Album, White, White Album, uh, in White Album 2, yeah, that's how it works, alright, <laughs> um, so basically, let's go over tuning and stuff, well, if you're here, you probably know the song, or like you're a friend, or something, um, alright, so, capo 1, okay, and it's tuned C, G, D, G, B, E, okay, so, oh, these two, you're gonna drop down to C and drop down to G, okay? Uh, and I'm talking as if we're we're in standard tuning, which we're, I mean, if we don't have the cable, which we do have a cable. But still, um, C, G, D, G, B, E, alright? So, now let me just play it over for you. Um, yeah, there we go. Alrighty. a little hard. I think this is one of my hardest arrangements I have ever uh, arranged. Since I took so much time on it, um, I took like at least five hours on it yesterday, but alright. So, the beginning part. No, oh, sorry. So, it goes, um, I think I'm keep thinking of the chorus. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and slide from the 
first fret and to the third fret on the B string. Alright. You see? And then, so. Now you're gonna slide from 5th to 7th, okay? notes okay so I'm sorry so this shape middle finger on the fourth fret on the uh, on the a string uh, we're gonna refer to it as if they're they were the um, standard tuning strings and then second second fret on the um, on the G string Alright, and you got 5th fret on the high E string. Alright. So. That's a little hard if you don't know how to do it. It's like... Alright. So it goes like... string um fourth fret on these two which is the, the low e string and the d string and then the second part okay so all right so this part now your bass string changes and it's not no longer C, it's an A here, okay? So So now now, now your bass string, um you gotta watch out. If you wanna hit another bass string in the middle, so if you wanna See, you gotta hit the bass um the, this string instead of this one. So I rather just not, so I play like this. That's how I play that. Alright, so the way this works is so instead of sliding, you're gonna hammer on, okay? It's a melody, okay? So. Uh, this shape again. So now you're gonna bar, you're gonna bar the, these three strings on the fourth fret, okay? So the low, the three low strings on the on the fourth fret, and then instead of you're gonna do, all right. Now if you just practice your finger strength uh, to get used to this chord. So now you're gonna repeat that again. But then now this time you're gonna go. See, I'm not hitting anything, I'm sliding. Except this one's hitting the bass note, okay? So now these are. Uh, actually, let me count the frets real quick. I'm not even sure which fret. So it's five, seven, oh okay. So these two are on the ninth fret, okay? And then this one's on the tenth fret. And then you got um, the seventh fret up here. So, so it goes like uh, the second, so. All right, you're gonna use your thumb. Just hit those four, okay? So this is just a D, D chord. So now we can get into the verse. So I'll play part of the verse for you. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so that's like the first part of the verse. I feel like this is a very easy verse to play actually because a lot of it's open notes. So. Basically this. You see? Alright, that's the not confusing, right? You're just picking beats. Alright. So So that's your bass, okay? So you see, all right. <coughs> no. See, your bass is for the first four um, parts is always the same. So. so now this shape, you see, you're gonna thumb over that, okay. now the, yeah, this shape, so 4th fret on the, B, uh, the A string, 2nd um, fret on G string, and 3rd fret on the B string, okay. Have your your uh, first fret on the B string here. You're gonna let go of it, and then transition to that. Okay. So when I arrange, um, since I have a lot of background in music theory, so I actually know all the notes on the top five, like up to the fifth fret here. I actually kind of know all the way up here, but. Um, I never really get to use anything up here in standard tuning, which is just not, but like, I'm just saying, in standard tuning, I know a lot, like, chord, chord intervals and that, so it's easier for me to uh, arrange. So if you don't know chord intervals and all that, um, don't worry, just slow down the video and you'll follow through, I think. Alright, so... Alright, your pinky is gonna go here. Time is different. All right, so so you're gonna slide this shape. Instead of playing, you're gonna go. Alright, so. Alright, so. Alright, 
so if you don't know how to do it, so this is that, that shape again. All right. So basically you're gonna use your thumb. If you have nails on your thumb, you can do that. Or you can you can just like do, I don't know. Or something, you know. I do have a bit of nail on my thumb, so so you're gonna go. Alright, so the faster it sounds like this. So after you do that, just slam the slam the low E string here. All right. All right. Now we're gonna go into the low bridge. So all right. So. have to use a pinky here or else you can't play the next part. Okay. Now you're now this is a very weird shape. I never used or seen anyone else use this shape before, but it sounds like this. Well ignore the high E string. It's a very diminished shape, okay? So Ring finger is gonna go on the second fret of the bass E string, okay, and then your index finger is gonna go on the um, first fret of the D string, okay. So first is open, and then you're gonna play that. You see, and you're gonna use your middle finger to hit this here. So it's 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 a little complicated, okay. So. The second, this part goes. So fourth fret on the A string. Okay. is a little different. You're gonna hit this uh, third fret on the high E string, and you're gonna bar this entire uh, first first fret. Okay, if you're bad at barring, practice your finger strength. Okay, that's one suggestion I have to uh, on my students, and not only my students, but um, you know, to all of you too. Um, you gotta learn how to how to have a solid bar. Okay, that's something I even I'm working on right now. So. bar this whole thing except for the bass string okay you can bar the bass string too but my suggestion um, is that you don't because barring unnecessary strings can cause a lot of like useless tension you know so the whole thing about finger style is controlling your force controlling your tension and you know pick up like being being able to play at a decent speed with decent mobility. You know. So 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 you're gonna hit 
hit this first, okay? So, because if you hit these two at the same time, it sounds a little weird. So, yeah. So, a little faster it sounds like. So, okay. So, so, you're gonna mute it after that, okay? This is just like the, um, with the F sharp bass, um, is what this chord will be called, but except we're playing a different tuning, so. similar to the intro except um we're playing for every time it goes all right so i'll just go over it with you and there's more percussion too so Uh, on this little, I don't know what to call it, <laughs> on this little thing. <laughs> uh. It should be the next uh, next time you pick this up. So this is this should be your last one, last beat. Okay, so. Sets up for your next run, okay? So. The same thing here, except there's more percussion involved. Sorry, I, I played it wrong actually. straight into the verse again. Most stuff here are exactly the same. is a little different so, and so instead of you're gonna play and actually no instead of a there's gonna be more of like a triplet beat in there okay? you see change here. 
all right you see instead of bass notes are the same but you're gonna play so, you see you hear that slide all right it, it just adds to the reverb of the song so however you want there, alright? Alright, so, I know you're gonna repeat the chorus after that, so. Last time you're gonna slow it down a little bit, okay? Now this is just something I added, so you don't have to play this. You can end it however you want. I feel like the ending is like <laughs> almost the most creative part. So. So the way I play it is. Just go ahead and mute this string. So it's not hard, you're just going up. You don't go all the way down. That's how that works, okay? Now mute the bass E string. Okay. So the way that works is. Once you hit the high, high string, you can go down. I really like ending songs like that because it has a nice, like you know, reverb to it, obviously, and a nice ring to it. So there we have it. I'll play through the last chorus a little bit. Um, It's a little long, it's almost 30 minutes, but um, you know, I'm glad um, I was able to get this out to everyone because there's covers on the internet, um, not all of them are good. There's one guy I heard is really good, very creative too, um, but you know, there's not many lessons or tabs, I guess. Um, I personally don't like tabs, so I make lessons, but you know, um, and also, yeah. Um, if you really want tabs, I actually don't know how to, like, I don't know how to um, write it on the computer. So, unless I write it on paper, I can't really give you tabs. Um, unless you can recommend me a software that's easy to use, that you can just put things on there. It's simple and it's, like, you know, straightforward. I don't want, like, you know, I don't want other crap. But, yeah, thank you for watching and um, hope you enjoyed, you know, and hope it helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.